Hey, it's Emma. Today we are making this marshmallow cardigan. I've named it marshmallow because I used the softest yarn possible. It's super chunky, it's got this rib kind of knit design, a color block sleeve and a duotone back panel. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's talk sizing. I actually based this cardigan off my latte cardigan. So I just measured the back, the arms, including the cuffs because I knew that I didn't want to add ribbing to this one. So I measured all the panels from ribbing to seam or from seam to seam. So that you can make this to fit your body, you can do the same thing. You can either use a cardigan or a jumper that you like the size of and base your measurements off that or you're going to take measurements from your shoulder to whatever length you want your cardigan to be. Then you're going to take from your shoulder or from the end of that front seam panel all the way to your wrist. And then you're going to do the same on your back from shoulder to shoulder and that same length. Something that is important to note though is that when you take your measurement, you're going to add, and you might have to like do a little bit of trial and error. When I was making my first panels, it was shrinking by quite a lot, maybe by about five centimeters for me. So I had to undo things and do them again. So as you're going along, maybe add like five or so centimeters to your original measurement so that it allows for some shrinkage that happens when you do this rib, ribbed stitch. Um, so like I said, I had to redo a few of my panels. So I would do like two or maybe three rows, check the measurement again. If it's shrunk by too much, you can't get it back. So unfortunately, undo it and then try it again, but add a few extra chains to allow for that shrinkage. But go ahead and take your measurements. I'll let you know what measurements I took along the way for my panels. But let's go ahead and make this marshmallow. Alrighty, I'm here with my pink yarn. Let's go ahead and make our back panel together. So start with a slip knot. And I've decided that I want my back panel to be a split of colors. So I'm going to teach you how to do that here. I'm going to go ahead and make my chain the length that I want my back panel to be, which I think is probably going to be around 45 centimeters. All right, here is my chain. It is sitting at about 48 centimeters because I'm predicting that it's going to shrink by that much um, to make it to about 45. So that's my chain. I've got 30 here. From here, I'm going to chain up two. Skip those two and go back into that 30th chain with a half double crochet. And I'm going to do half double crochets about three quarters of the way before we do a color change. Good Chucky. Chucky. Come here. So here is my first row of half double crochets. I did 19 of them, so I've got 11 chains left here. So what I'm going to do is just remove my hook. And in these three loops here, I'm going to reinsert my hook. I'm going to grab my gray yarn, just place it behind and hold it and bring this gray yarn through. And then for my next stitch, I'm going to make sure that I bring this pink yarn with me. So yarn over and continuing my half double crochets in this gray color, bringing this pink yarn with me. And this is what it should look like after that first row. From here, I'm going to chain up two, turn my work, and I'm still bringing this pink yarn with me, but this time I'm going to take half double crochets into the back loop only. 
So I'm going to do this all the way along, but I'll meet you at the color change so that you know what to do. All right, so there's my gray round. I've got one more here. So yarn over, insert, making sure that you go over that pink one and pull through. At this point, when I've got the three on my hook, I'm then going to change over to my pink yarn and I'm going to yarn over and pull this pink yarn through. And then we change over. So now I'm keeping my gray yarn um, with my Vs and I yarn over with the pink, insert into the back loop and half double crochet. And I'm going to do back loop half double crochets for this whole panel taking those color changes each time as they come here and I'm just going to complete this until I have the width and the size of the panel that I want so I'll do a halfway check-in and I'll let you know how it's going all right so I just wanted to share how my little panel is coming along this is how it is looking and I'm just going to continue doing this until it is long enough and I will show you it when it's all done all right, so I have my back panel completed here. The next thing to do is to make the two front panels. So I have chains of 30 going long ways across my cardigan. So I'll be starting with a chain of 30 and then I'll be making those back loop half double crochets all the way across until I reach a little bit more than one third of the way. So you don't want to go and cover completely half because you need a few rows in between. But I'll show you all my panels together so that you can actually see what I mean by leaving a little bit of a space here. Okay, I am here with my back panel and my two front panels. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch all across the top to connect these two pieces together. And then I'll just try it on um, and make a sleeve as well to see how much I need to leave open on this side before I start stitching along the bottom. So let's go ahead and just stitch the top part. All right, so let's do this one, this first piece together. You just go ahead and create a slip knot, insert your hook, and make sure you're getting this first corner piece here. And then you're going to wrap your yarn, pull through and pull through two. Then after this, you just wanna go ahead and go along and take slip stitches along the top. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my slip stitches and I'll show you what I've got at the end. All right, so I've attached my first panel just all along the top here and this is what it'll look like on the other side once it's on. But I'm going to go ahead and attach my other panel in the same way on this side and then I will come back and then I will come back and show you what I've got. All right, I have just sewn my front and back panels together. I haven't done the sides yet, but I just wanted to kind of like see how it's looking. I really enjoy how this back piece turned out. I think it'll look super fun. So I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and make a sleeve so that we can then bring these two um, side pieces together, but leave it opening big enough for the sleeve. So we'll make a sleeve together and then we'll come back. So to make the sleeve, you go ahead and start with a slip knot. And I'm going to make my chain as long as I need my sleeve to be. Okay, so I have a chain of 30 here. It ends up being about 44 centimeters. I need 40, but I do think that it is gonna shrink this much just from <laughs> how things have been going so far with the other panels. So this is my 30th chain here. I'm going to chain up two and place a double crochet, half double crochet into that first spot. 
And then I'm going to take half double crochets into every single stitch until I'm 10 away from the end here. So I'm actually going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because in this tenth stitch, which I'll mark with a stitch marker here, I'm going to start doing my slip stitches, which will create the cuff. And then this way we don't need to create a separate piece and attach it. So I'm going to take half double crochets all the way across until I reach my stitch marker. All right, so I've done my half double crochets. I've stopped here at 10 before the end of my row. And in this first stitch, you're just going to go ahead and insert your hook, pull through and pull through with a slip stitch. And I'm going to take these slip stitches all the way till the very end. So for 10 of them. And you can decide how long you want your cuff to be. By adjusting how many slip stitches you do. You can do more or you can do less. Alright, I'm at the end here. I just have one more to go in this final stitch. And then from here, go ahead and chain one. Turn your work the same way that you've been turning all of your work. You find this first back loop of your V here. And we do 10 slip stitches to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and take back loop slip stitches until I reach my stitch marker once more. Okay, and this is what it looks like when you've done your slip stitches. I've made it back to the row where my stitch marker is. So I'm placing one more final slip stitch into this and then yarn over. I go back to doing my half double crochets in the back loop and I'll do this all the way until the very end. And this is what your sleeve starts to look like after your row two. Again, for the next row, chain two, turn your work and half double crochets into that back loop all the way across until you reach your stitch marker. And this is what my row of half double crochets looks like. And then I'm at my stitch marker here. So I go back to doing back loop slip stitches. And you'll just keep repeating this until your sleeve is long enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing um, this pattern and I might do a halfway check in with you just to show you how it looks. All right, I'm probably about halfway here. This is how my sleeve is looking. So I'm going to continue this until this part of the cuff can fit around my wrist. So it's about halfway here. I'm going to probably do double this and then that'll be enough to fit around my wrist and this will be a really nice big romantic balloon sleeve. You can decide how long you want your cuff to be. So I chose to do 10 um, slip stitches just because I thought 10 was like a nice number to remember but if you wanted your cuff longer or if you wanted your cuff shorter you can adjust this to how you like. So what I'm going to do is insert my hook on the opposite side, bring it through that loop and pull through. And I'm going to do slip stitches all along here to connect the sleeve together. And if you like, you can use a stitch marker or a few things to bring your, or a few clips to bring your work together. But I'm just going to hold it and make sure that I'm going into every single stitch. So I'm going to take slip stitches all the way through until I get to the very end. All right, we've just finished our sleeve. It's always so funny <laughs> when it's just asleep. But, um, so I have my panel, like our vest panel from before. So this is what it's kind of gonna look like. So I'm going to, I might leave this on my left arm, but I'm gonna bring you guys up top so that we can attach this sleeve and side piece together. Okay, so here we are with the little vest piece and then our sleeve. I left this long tail end on my sleeve so that I can use that to crochet it together. So first thing that you wanna do is make sure that your pieces are back with the seams showing. So this one, 
This one is still inside out, so I'm gonna leave that one like this. And I'm just going to place a stitch marker. So I'm gonna line these two seams up together here, and the sleeve will go till about here. So we're going to stitch along here up to the stitch marker and then we're going to attach this sleeve together. Alright so all of my work is inside out. I'm going to start here at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my hook here and insert my hook at the top. Pull my yarn through and through that loop. I'm going to take single crochets this time. So usually we've been doing slip stitches, but I'm going to do single crochets so that I can hide my um, tail ends of yarn in at the same time. But I'm just going to go ahead and grab, go through a loop on each side, yarn over, pull that yarn through, and yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to do this around the entire sleeve. And just to show what I'm doing without these yarn pieces in the way, I'm just going through this gray piece doesn't have any like proper V loop, so I'm just going through any stitch, but my pink side does have a V stitch, so I'm going through both of those stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this sleeve and then we'll come back and do the side together. Okay, so I've just sewn in this side of the sleeve. I've actually run out of yarn. I thought that tail end would be long enough, but it's not. So the other side is still open. So what I'm going to do is from the bottom, I'm going to attach a new piece of yarn. So make a slip knot. Insert your hook and I'm going to go bring these two corner pieces together and I'm going to work this um, side edge and then continue up the sleeve. So I'm going to go through both loops at the bottom here and yarn over, pull through and yarn over, pull through too. Alright, and I'm just making sure that I'm going through both V loops on both sides and single crocheting them together. So I'm gonna do this all the way along and I will meet you at the sleeve. All right, and I've gone ahead and removed my stitch marker because we are now up to attaching this sleeve together. So I can see that I didn't quite go into this loop. So I'll make sure that I go into those loops, single crochet, and then we're attaching the other side of the sleeve now. So just bringing all those pieces together and continuing our single crochets. And it's a good thing to also just make sure that all of your pieces are going to line up. So just keep doing a check in and making sure that there's no large gaps or anything happening in your work. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one off and we will meet back once I have attached the sleeve. I have attached my sleeve and I've also sewn in my ends because I'm lazy and I know if I don't do it now, I'm probably not gonna get around to doing it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just see how it looks. I haven't attached the other side yet. We still need to make the other sleeve together but she's looking cute. Little patchwork moment. I like how balloony the sleeves are. So let's go ahead and make the other sleeve together. For my second sleeve, I decided that I wanted to use this pink yarn to put a block of color in it, just so that it's not just the back panel that's pink. So. Because we have our other, our first sleeve as um, a base, I know that I did 30 chains all up in this, in this panel. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to probably make a cuff with 12 stitches in this kind of gray tone, and then 
And then that means that the 18 to make up the 30 will be in pink. So I'm going to go ahead and make a chain of 18 in the pink. And this stitch here is my 18th stitch and I'm going to be just doing a panel of half double crochets in this. So I'm going to go ahead and chain two, yarn over and go into that stitch with a half double crochet. And just the same way that we made all of our panels, I'm just going to go ahead and make this big enough until it matches our other sleeve. All right, so I've got part of my sleeve panel here. This is my other sleeve. So this part is just kind of up here. I know that I did 18 stitches for this one and this, this uh, gray sleeve is 30 stitches in total. So what I'm going to do is I want my cuff to be a different color. I'm going to make a chain of 12. All right, so I've got my chain of 12 here. I know that two of these stitches are going to need to be half double crochets. Um, I think it's always easier to kind of hide this tail end with the larger pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one and start with slip stitches first. Okay, and I am two stitches away from the end. So now I go to my half double crochets. So yarn over. There's my first half double and my second half double. I'm going to chain two, turn my work the same way. I'm going to place two half double crochets into the next back loops of the next two stitches. And then in this one, I'm changing over to a back loop slip stitch and I'll do this until the very end. And this is what it looks like after row two. From here, chain one, turn your work and slip stitches are up first. So into this back loop with 10 slip stitches. And you're just going to repeat this the whole time. So once I get to my uh, half double crochets, I'm going to start my half double crochets, which is really easy because it's just the final two stitches and it'll be back loop slip stitches for the remainder. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Uh, my gray sleeve is a total of 22 rows. I made my pink panel 22 rows as well. So this one will be 22 rows and I will come back when it's finished. So we can place it all together. All right, so I have finished my cuff here in another color so you just kind of want to bring both your patchwork piece and your cuff together and i know that this looks um super super small but that's how it's meant to be so you're meant to kind of um, bring your work together here 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 i'm just kind of matching where this braided kind of pattern is and this is how i'm going to stitch it all together so that's the end of my piece so you can see that it now Will, like it'll fit so uh, I have left a really long tail and on my work here I'll use that to kind of sew the piece all together and I will use this tail end on my pink one to attach the cuff together so I'm just going to bring these two pieces together first and again I want to make sure that I'm matching this this braided section with the braided section here all right, so I've got my two corners here together. I'm going to insert my hook here and I'm just going to tie it together to start with. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm matching up the braided section. So here's my first braid on my pink. I'm going to make sure that I marry that with the braided section here on the gray. So I'm going to put a stitch here and I'll just be using slip stitches. And you can see that this braided section and this braided section have lined up. So now I'm moving on to the next kind of empty space. And 
and I'm up to my next braided section here. So I'm going through this loop. I'll make sure that it's marrying this braided section here. So I'll go through that loop and I will bring them together. So this is how it's looking. I'm going to just continue this along the whole way and I'll show you what it looks like when I've come to the end. So we have just made our other sleeve. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that in the same way. And then, I don't know, we're like kind of done. Unless we think of some other things to kind of do to it. But this has been a really quick um, sweater to make, maybe because it's so chunky. But I'm gonna go ahead and attach this sleeve and then we will come back. So when you're attaching your other sleeve, just do a quick stitch count. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I know that my sleeve is going to be attached from the 13th stitch from the bottom of the cardigan on the other side. So I'm gonna count 13 along here and attach my sleeve and then that way I know that it'll be even like that side. All right, you guys, and this is the completed cardigan. It's got this color blocked sleeve, a normal sleeve on the other side. I'm really in love with the rib texture. So let's go ahead and try this on. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoy your marshmallow cardigan. Thumbs up if you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.